The Wellnick Marketplace was the Whole Foods of its day. You could get everything here. It included a bakery, it included um, fresh produce from local areas, um, farms, and they even had fresh fish that was um, shipped in on the train every single day. And it was a place where anybody would come to shop. You had the society wives that would shop here, you would have um, the, the working class women that would shop here. I mean, everybody was shopping because it was the first time really that you had everything in one space. The Leaf Grin was built simultaneously. It was less fancy. It was a feed and seed shop. And which seems funny to us today, because why would you have that next to a high-end grocery store? But of the day, you had vegetable gardens and you had chickens. So of course you would have feed and seed next to something else that you use daily, which is a grocery store. Built in 1927, the Wellnick Brothers Marketplace and Leaf Green Seed Company was a major fixture in Phoenix. Today, it's vying for that spot again. Both buildings are in the midst of a major transformation. Developers James Kirkendall and Pat Cantelmi have some big plans. This project was suggested, and when I first came downtown to look at it, I was looked around West Van Buren, and I went, I don't know if I want to have anything to do with this area. It's, it's pretty rough and it, it's a lot of empty buildings and, and then when we looked into it and I found out all the exciting things that were going to be happening in this area over the next couple of years, uh, it totally changed my mind. Uh, I decided, you know what, this is a great project and it's a project I want to be involved with to help uh, restore this part of uh, West Van Buren and to take an old building that might, might have otherwise been destroyed and bring it back to life. Michelle Dodds is the Historic Preservation Officer for the City of Phoenix. Uh, Fitzhugh and Byron were the architects for the buildings and they've designed many other uh, familiar buildings within the downtown area such as First Baptist Church and also the Walker Building which is just across the street from City Hall. Historic buildings are so important to the vitality of our city, especially in the downtown area. People want to be in historic buildings. They have a unique character, they have a history, and people really enjoy being in those buildings. And we hope they're around for a long time for future generations to enjoy. In 2001, citizens approved 14 million in historic preservation spending. That number increased to 13 million in 2006 and 15 million in 2009. The Wellnick was converted to a print shop in 1967. It later closed and the building sat vacant. It was set to be demolished in 2010. But fast forward to today. These historic preservation funds are helping match the developer's investment for rehabilitation. Uh, you see some awnings that uh, were just added back to the building that were there historically. You, repairs were made to the roof and you can see that it is quite an or, ornate building and so uh, the building is really brought back to life uh, thanks to some of the help from the preservation bond funds. The Wellnick is very ornate, and you have um, the fish on the outside, on the columns, and you have the curly SQ, and then you have uh, shields that have the W and the M of the Wellnick Marketplace. Um, you have a, a, an awning, and you do have windows up above for natural light. And then over at the Leaf Grin, you have two actual entryways that are inset from the building and they, they had more detailing, that's where we saw the ghost signs, where they painted the storefront um, and it was a, a simpler uh, building. 
They were built with such amazing quality and a sense of aesthetic that we don't always see. We've become very utilitarian. As the work progressed, when we were taking things away that had been put in, like drop ceilings, that's when we discovered certain treasures like original transom windows and original basket weave tile, um, even skylights, um, the, the rafters that are amazing. The size of these two buildings, we, we would have, could have a restaurant which would have frontage on Van Buren and Forth. We're looking at possibly a brewery to take over the largest portion of the Wellnick building. In the Lifkin building, we have frontage on the front with storefronts on Van Buren. So we're looking to have some retail. We have a lot of interest in the building right now. So we're trying to find the right mix for, for this area and to complement the different businesses that will be here. I am so excited to see the rehabilitation of these two wonderful buildings. Uh, they've been vacant for over 10 years and they've been threatened with demolition in the past and now they are being rehabilitated and they will be there for future generations to enjoy. It's an exciting time for Phoenix, and Community and Economic Development Director Christine Mackey knows all about it. The Wellnick Market is playing key into the revitalization of that Van Buren corridor, particularly west of Central Avenue. Now you've got this workforce who want to live where they're connected to. They want to be part of their community. So that Van Buren corridor will have uh, restaurants and, and brew pubs and technology companies and livable spaces. And I think what's so important about that area is that your living room won't be in your apartment or in your house. Your living room will be outside. I'm very excited and I'm really proud to be part of this project. And I want to see this building here long after I'm gone. And uh, so I think it's, it's the right thing to do. Phoenix has so few historic buildings and so few old buildings that it's very important to, to try to save every one of them that we can. This building itself tells the whole story of the city of Phoenix. This is part of the original town site that was mapped out in 1895. And it's, it tells the story from going from rural farmland to a downtown city, to a deteriorated um, urban center, to now a revitalization, which is really like the namesake of the city, Phoenix. Phoenix.